Hey guys, in this video, we're going to take a look at ES6 arrow functions. Now, there's two main benefits to using arrow functions. The first is that it's a shorter syntax. It'll save you a few keystrokes. But the more important benefit is that it they allow you to bind this uh, lexically. So in the past, we've had to do things like rename this to that or self or something like that. Uh, if you've been programming JavaScript for a long time, chances are you've done this uh, at least a couple times. So if that doesn't make sense to you, let me just give you an example. All right, so I'm going to create a function called prefixer. And that's going to take in a prefix. And then what we'll do is say this dot prefix is equal to prefix. All right, and down here we'll create a prototype. We'll say prefixer dot uh, prototype dot prefix array, and we'll set that equal to a function, and that's going to take in an array. And then what we'll do is return array dot map. And inside there we'll have a function and we'll pass in a parameter X and then we just want to console dot log uh, this dot prefix and we want to add on X okay whatever is passed in all right so let's go ahead and instantiate this we'll say let pre equals new prefixer and the prefix we want to use we'll just say hello space all right and then down here we'll say pre dot uh, prefix array and let's pass in an array with a couple names okay we'll say Brad and we'll say Jeff so let's go ahead and save that and reload now you can see we're getting an error that says it cannot read property prefix of undefined. And it's talking about this line right here. So it's saying this is undefined. Even though we have it up here, it's still undefined. So a workaround for this would be to um, set this to a new variable. So right here, we'll say let that, or some people use self, and then just set it to this and then go down here and replace this with that. Okay, we'll go ahead and run that. And now we get hello Brad, hello Jeff. So it's prefixing each array element with whatever we put here. Now, arrow functions save us from having to do this. So we can actually get rid of this now and get rid of the function text, keep it like that, and then just use the arrow like that. All right, so let's go ahead and whoop, actually before we do that, we have to rename this back to this. All right, so you can see that that's shorter and it also allows us to use a lexical this reload and we get the same thing. All right, so pretty easy um, to give you a, a really easy example of the syntax. We're going to create a variable called add and set that to a function okay that function will take in two values we'll say a b and then we'll say let sum equals a plus b and then we'll do console.log sum and just return false okay so down here we'll just say add two two okay so obviously that gives us four now if we wanted to change this into an arrow function let me just comment this out okay and then I'm just gonna copy it and what we would do is first we're gonna remove the word function and then we're gonna just add right here the arrow symbol Okay, save it, reload, and we're still getting four. If we put 10 here, we get 12. All right, so it saves you a couple keystrokes.
but the more important thing is it uses a lexical this so we don't need to have uh, we don't need to rename this to that or, or whatever um, so pretty helpful hopefully you'll see a need for it in future projects and that's it thanks for watching